Hello and welcome to module seven, the DHCP server version four. That's for IPv4. And uh, don't forget to take the notes so and submit them as homework. So let's move on. All right, so the first thing I want you to write down is what is the DHCP? DHCP, write this down. Dynamic host configuration protocol leases IPv4 addresses and other network information to hosts in a LAN. The least interval is usually 24 hours up to a week. All right, so for a small LAN, Cisco router can act as a DHCP server, but a dedicated server would be much easier and more scalable. You know, you can easily expand for larger networks. All right, now listen, here's how it works. The client will contact the DHCP server asking for an IP address. The DHCP server leases one-to-one. -one. After half of the interval has expired, the leasing half of the time, let's say if it's, if it's for 24 hours, after 12 hours, the client will periodically try to contact the DHCP server asking for renewal. If the client does not ask for renewal by the time, by the by the interval of time expires, like the 24 hours expires, then the IP address is placed back into the pool for someone else to use. All right, simple as that. That's how the operation works. Now, here's what I want you to write down. The client server will always use four handshaking signals between the server and the client before, they, before the server gives out the IP address information to the client. The server will always use, write this down, port six, UDP port 67 to communicate with the client, and the client will use UDP port 68 to communicate with the server. All right, so when you turn your computer on as a client, number one, you're writing this down. First thing that happens, the client will broadcast uh, a friend called the DHCP Discover looking for the nearest DHCP server in the LAN. And by the way, you may have multiple DHCP servers working together in the LAN for redundancy purposes. Okay? So you don't have to have one DHCP server in the LAN. You could have multiple ones. In case one goes down, the other one picks up immediately. And the DHCP servers are always communicating with each other. All right, number two. Once the, um, the, the client sends that broadcast DHCP discover, the DHCP servers will respond with a unicast DHCP offer. All right? And unicast means one, one way. And then the client will unicast back a DHCP request to the nearest DHCP server. So one of the ser servers will start sending out offers, and then the client just picks one, and, and he will send out a request to that guy. To the, to the nearest server. The DHCP server then will send, uh, send another unicast back the DHCP acknowledged. All right, right here. So DHCP discover to all servers. Uh, then you say you, you'll be given an offer from the servers. The client will pick one offer and send out a request. And then the server will send out an acknowledgement back. All right, so that's that. Let's talk about now the server itself, the configuration. Assume that the okay. Let's do let's do a configuration. So let's say you have a network right here. Okay, this is going to act as a DHCP server, and this PC one is going to get it. All right. So uh, the best way to do this is just give me one second. All right, I just wanted to pick up my notes so this way it makes it a little bit easier to explain. So let's assuming that this is the LAN and this is going to act as a DHCP server and you have a whole bunch of clients connected to this switch. They want to get an IP address from the router, which is going to be acting as a DHCP server. So what you do is you go on the router and here's how you can set it up easily. So assume that you have this network, 192.168.10.0. 0 slash 24. Remember, you're writing all of this down, and I'll explain it to you. Is assigned to a LAN. So, dot 254 is giving to the default gateway on the router. So you already configured 
the fast Ethernet zero zero that's facing the switch, right? That's this that's this this interface, the G triple zero, right? And let's assume there's a printer, just ignore this for now. So there's a printer, and we're going to give also an IP address to the switch. So uh, the default gateway got dot one. Uh, I'm sorry, dot one is to the switch, and dot two is to the printer. All right. So you got to exclude these IP addresses from the pool because they've already been configured. So you type in IP DHCP. This is DHCP, not DCPH. DHCP. DHCP, IP, DHCP. So IP, DHCP, space, IP space, DHCP space, excluded dash address. You exclude 192.168.10.24, and then you exclude dot one all the way to dot two. So the next guy that's going, the next client will be, the pool will offer dot three as the IP address, right? So after you exclude the addresses, next you give the pool name. So you type IP DHCP pool, and you just write any name you want. Uh, it's best to write it in capital letters so you can uh, differentiate between a command and a name. Then you say the network. The network is 192.168/24. That's this network. The default gateway is .254, right? So you type default space. I'm sorry, default dash router, 192.168.254. You can give the DNS server. Typically, that's what's given. An IP address, a mask. So the first one is going to get dot three with the mask uh, slash 24 and a default router of 192.168.254. And a DNS server, I just made it up, 10, 10, 10, 1. Uh, typically, those four IP configurations are leased to a user, a client. You can also give a domain name or a lease time. You can write least one day, two hours, and 50 minutes. You know, you don't write the parentheses. I just wanted to explain to you. So you write least one, two, 50 if you want to. And that's it. You're done. And the PC, once that's done on the, on the router, PCs, when they send out a DACP discover, the gateway will get that message and you'll get your IP address. All right. These are the commands that you should um type for um for verification and troubleshooting so you can do show running config the pipe start with the section and the dacp it's going to show you all the dacp commands that you typed in the dacp server all right show cd dhcp uh binding that's going to display every pc's or device mac address and what is the least ip address that you gave it to uh, that's been given to that uh, MAC address or to that device. Show DHCP server statistics is going to give you messages that are sent and received. Um, if you want to disable DHCP, just type no service DHCP. And if you want to get it back, just type uh, service DHCP. All right, so please write these down because once you do this, you know how to configure your router to a DHCP server. If you have a much larger network, you probably want to dedicate a server such as server, Microsoft, um, Windows, Windows Server 2012 or 2016, which we'll do in a different class too, by the way. All right, so continuing on. Um, so that's that. Let's uh, move on to better things. Okay, so now, clear. here's one thing I want you to remember. Okay, so we went over this. We did that. Verification, we did that. Statistics. Okay. All right, we talked about that. We'll, we'll get that in a second. Here's one thing I want you to write down before we get into the relay. We'll talk about that in a minute. Clearing the DHCP binding or stopping or restarting the DHCP server that may, uh, may result in a duplicate IP addresses being temporarily assigned on the network. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. So be very careful when you are doing that. All right, so let's talk about uh, the relay. What happened if your server typically is in a server room, right? The server farm, you know, the DHCP server, the DNS server, the email server, the application server usually is in the server room. And all the LANs want to get to the server room, 
with their DHCP server. The problem is when this guy sends out a DHCP discover because it's a broadcast message, this will not allow it to go out, the default gateway. Because remember, the default gateway router's interfaces will block broadcast messages from going outside the LAN. That's why we call this a LAN, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a command at this interface to tell them, when you receive a DHCP discover broadcast message, please send that information to the DHCP server. That's called the relay. So you allow them to go through to get to the DHCP server so they can get their IP address. That's what the relay is for. You place it on the default gateway so it can relay the DHCP discover broadcast message to a DHCP server that is outside your LAN. All right. And please type in the command. This is how you do it. Interface G. This is the, the your default gateway, and you type IP helper dash address 192.168.11.6. That would be your IP address um, on the other side. On the other side, the server IP address. All right. And please write down at least the top. This is also you can do this by you know you're not you're not only relaying the DHCP info, but you can also relay time, TACX, DNS information, and even the TFTP and the and the net bias information. All right. Uh, what else do you need to know? To config, what happens if you have a client that is not a PC, like a small office, home office server? So you got to set up the G001, in this case, to be... Um, to set it up for DHCP, right? So what do you do? Please write this down. You go to the interface and you say IP DHCP, IP address DHCP, and no shut. That means I'm not giving you an IP address. Go and send out a DHCP discover broadcast message. And that's it. All right? For um, a wireless router, it's automatically done. It's all, By default, it's set up. And your PCs, of course, are automatically set up to dynamically send out a DHCP discover looking for a DHCP server. So there's really hardly any set. If you don't play around with them, you're all good to go. All right, so that's it for DHCP version four. And I write everything I asked you to write up and I'll see you on the next video.